This is Gary Rodding, and in this video, I'll be reviewing Acceleron CC Payment Processing Program. This will include an overview of the integration of payment processing into business management system, as well as the individual features of the virtual terminal. Before I get started, though, just a brief uh, statement on cost. There is no charge for Acceleron CC. It's free with your merchant account from our processing partner, Global Payments Integrated. Their processing rates are very competitive, and in fact, they offer a meet or beat policy for approved accounts. There is also a flat rate program of 2.9% and 10 cents per transaction, even on card not present transactions, which makes it very competitive as well. Okay, well, with that said, let's get started. Just a quick reminder in case you didn't watch the overview video, our partners in payment processing are Global Payments Integrated, GPI, and Intuit, maker of QuickBooks Online, to which we integrate. GPI is one of, if not the largest payment processor with over 400,000 merchants, and Intuit is equally positioned in their field. This provides our program with stability and should give you great comfort when dealing with something as important as your money. The goal of our program is to simply get you your money fast and do it easily and cost effectively as possible. We do that by integrating all of the payment processing components into one seamless system, thus avoiding duplication of entries and accompanying delays and errors. Technically, there are three systems that can be integrated. I say can because how you decide to build your payment processing program is up to you and it can be changed whenever you like. The virtual terminal is the brains of the processing program, as well as your software for manual entries, and we'll be reviewing that in some detail next. It connects to QBO and GPI to complete uh, and record payment transactions. Additionally, the virtual terminal can be integrated with our business management software, as I reviewed in the previous video, and GPI's customer engagement software, which uh, is reviewed in the next video in this series. I will be reviewing the primary functions of the virtual terminal, starting with how you can do manual transactions and set up recurring payments, both scheduled and for occasional use. As I mentioned, the virtual terminal is the brains of the processing program, and it manages the transactions wherever they occur in your business management system. So we will review those as well. Let's start by reviewing the sales tab of the virtual terminal. This is where you'll enter the information to manually process a sale as opposed to, let's say, using a card reader in our mobile app. You will also use this with our point of sale device if it's appropriate. As you can see, there are four sales processes available, credit or debit card, ACH, which is a direct withdrawal from a bank account, XPay link, which is sending a payment request to the customer by text or email, providing a direct link to GPI for them to enter their card information and by course point of sale device. Whichever you use, you'll add any information necessary and when submitted and approved by GPI, you will see a receipt that can be printed or emailed to the customer. You can also choose to store this card information for future use as a regularly scheduled or occasional use transaction. I want to take a moment now and talk about XPayLink. As I said, this is where you can send a payment link to the customer via email or text messaging. The payment request is customizable, so it can be branded to your company. Your customer simply adds their information and submits payment, which of course then is captured in the virtual terminal. An option that is available to you is to offer your customers a delay play or split pay option. Delay Delay pay gives them about four to six weeks to pay, no cost to them. Split pay is basically consumer credit where they can pay over time, usually up to two years. The process is very fast, uh, usually takes less than two minutes. The customer completes a very short application after which their options are presented and they select the one that's best for them. From there, everything is between them and GPI and you get paid immediately and are charged a fee depending upon what option they selected, but generally between four to 6%. Now that might sound a little high, but think of it in terms of sales you might not have otherwise gotten or gotten later. In that case, it's a pretty good deal. I mentioned that we can save cards for future use from a manual entry. 
but we can also go to the recurring payments tab and then add the customer information there. By the way, it's really important to know that nowhere in the virtual terminal or even the business management software is the payment details actually stored. That is all done in GPI system and you as well as Excel run are completely compliant with all the rules. What we store is a token that is sent to GPI when we wish to use the payment information that is stored there. Oh, let me get back to setting up and searching recurring transactions then. There are four differentiators. Billing cycle, payment type, recurring type, and status. Recurring type differentiates between a payment that is going to run automatically based upon the billing cycle and those that will be chosen randomly, manual, commonly called a card on file. If you do select automatic, you will also select a billing cycle, a start date, and an amount to be charged. You can use these filters to look for transactions and of course expo export them to Excel. And you can also make any transaction inactive uh, anytime you'd like to. Before we move on and talk about QuickBooks Online, let me uh, take a moment and, and talk about the uh, transactions tab. What's uh, important here is that this captures not only the transactions that are made in the virtual terminal, but in our integrated program, it's also capturing those that are made in your business management system. So if a, you have the option of uh, collecting uh, payments in the field, um, and there's options to collect payments within the business management system. Shown here in the field, you'll see that they have the option to collect by uh, payment by card or payment by customer, uh, send up, uh, sending a, a payment link at a customer statement. Both of those are then captured within the virtual terminal. Uh, also just mentioned, if you're payment by card, you'll have the option of doing a manual entry uh, and putting the inf information manually or using a Bluetooth card reader. The other thing that you'll be able to do from here is um, print a receipt or email a receipt if a customer asks you for it at, uh, after the initial sale. You can go in and click on the transaction and that option will pro be provided to you. And you can also do voids and refunds. So with that, let's uh, move on and talk about QuickBooks Online. Integration with QuickBooks Online could be over short is optional but strongly recommended as it will make your bookkeeping process for invoices and payments so much easier. If you don't already have QBO, we can help you get it and convert your existing data into it. Let me start by showing you just how easy the setup and synchronization process is. In step one, you're going to click the connect to QuickBooks and then a QuickBooks um, online pop-up asks you for your sign-in credentials, then asks you for your second authentication method, and that's it, you're connected. All you're gonna do now is then click the settings button and you can select the items you want to sync, which literally just takes seconds. Syncing with customers also connects you to their invoice and payment history as well as their customer information. When this is done, all components of your business management system will use QBO data so everything stays aligned. Once synchronized, you can use this screen for a number of functions, starting with searches for transactions like unpaid invoices or those for a certain customer. You can also, for your convenience, open QBO or create an invoice. The drop downs have all your QBO data to make a QBO aligned invoice, after which you can click submit and save it in QBO for future collection or submit and pay to collect now which then opens the virtual terminal and auto-populates the customer information and amount it to whatever payment process you have chosen. Finally, you can choose an invoice from the search screen and click it to open the virtual terminal as well. All of this, of course, is synchronized to QBO as well as your business management software. I think we've covered all the salient points, so let me wrap this up by recapping the benefits of our program, as well as reviewing all the financial touch points that we have in our integrated system. Remember, the configuration is flexible and you can modify it at any time without penalty. But keep in mind, a big reason for doing this is getting your money fast, which in part is due to the integrations 
and the resulting elimination of duplicating errors. Let's uh, take a look then at the touch points. And remember that what happens in one place is automatically updated everywhere else. First, there's the virtual terminal where I showed you the manual entry process and the delay and split pay options in our XPay link program. In the previous uh, video, you saw the touch points in the business management software, including the field app and the administrative functions. We also covered the QBO integrations and the ability to collect payment on invoices entered into QBO directly from our business software. Last, and we will address this in the next video, is the link to GPI customer engagement software, most notably call pop intelligent phone answering software. I hope you can clearly envision how this integration will save you time make payments easier and safer for your customers, and overall provide a speedy way to get your money into your hands faster. I hope you'll take the time to watch the last video in the series on our customer engagement suite. After all, uh, getting and keeping customers is a key goal for any business. But in any case, when you're ready, just click the Get Started link or chat button on our website and request a meeting with one of our profit and expense specialists or for that matter with Sean or me. And let's get planning your program. Thanks for watching.